Why do non-Americas dislike large portions of food? The idea, as others have said, is overall that most non-Americans don't want leftovers. I know people are arguing about whether leftovers are good food or not. But that's honestly missing the point. It's a philosophy difference, essentially. Note, I'm speaking from my own limited experience and referring to European culture because that's what I'm the most familiar with. From the more European point of view, part of the eating out experience is, well, the eating out, they don't want to eat Applebee's chicken tenders at their desk tomorrow. That's like telling an American to dip their french fries in vinegar instead of ketchup it doesn't matter if it's good, it's just wrong to a lot of our sensibilities. Feels like heresy. Also, while we can go back and forth about whether restaurant leftovers can be made yummy, I would imagine that if that was a foreign concept to you your whole life, being presented with those leftover Applebee's chicken tenders would be the equivalent of getting cold, stale McDonald's french fries for lunch. I'm Texan so I am more than familiar with big portion sizes. I get sick of having a lot of low quality. Okay food, that sometimes gets wasted. If you serve me a larger portion, I'll basically always eat more than I should. And more than what I need to be satiated I'd rather have a reasonably sized meal for less money than leftovers of a large portion and then take a nice dessert that I still feel hungry there's tons of food going to waste in developed countries and larger portions definitely result in more leftovers not everyone will take everything at home that said outside of the US it's not super common to be able to take your leftovers with you unless with a few specific dishes like pizza or perhaps schnitzel which gets a lot worse cold or reheated though I don't know about disliking them. I often get leftovers packed anyway. I will say that if a restaurant can offer a portion that's 1.5x a normal meal for say $12. Why can't they sell a meal that's a normal portion for $8? Sounds like it's just an excuse to sell more food to you rather than the amount you need. I'm an American and dislike unreasonably large portions. One. It's disgusting a waste of food. Anybody who who has worked in the restaurant industry knows how much food goes in the garbage. It's honestly disturbing how much food we waste in the US. 2. It usually tricks people into thinking they need to eat more than they should. We have a terrible weight problem in the US and ridiculously sized portions doesn't really help. People stay in a health conscious state of mind. You don't need that much Pepsi. You don't need that many fries. That pizza is meant for two people. Not one. Three. It's usually a sign of mediocre. Unhealthy food. They just give you more hoping to hide the fact it isn't very good. In Australia we tend to go for quality over quantity so massive meals are generally looked down. Upon. Many are more interested in quality over quantity. Because I feel like a pig with a huge plate of food in front of me. And doggy bags are really uncommon here in the Netherlands. Just serve normal portions for normal prices. That is in my eyes more appetizing and appealing than piles of food. Because they're not just large. They're comically large. Soda is a good example. American small is closer to a large in most other counties. That's an insane amount of sugar liquid. Well above what any adult should be consuming in a day. I feel that's irresponsible to promote as normal. Luckily it seems like many of these drinks are 60% ice but still it creates a mentality that more equals. Better and that leads to overconsumption across the board. I can't speak for all non-Americans and I don't know exactly how big the portions are. But I can tell you why I would not like it. 1. It's extremely wasteful. If I only want to eat one meal, having an entire additional meal, maybe two or three, 
on my plate will only make me aware of how much food is being wasted. Unless I choose to take on the obligation of using it all up. Which means a series of unappetizing repetitive meals when I would prefer fresh variety. 2. If the meal is so large that it is far beyond the appetite of any healthy diet. By its pure excess it is off-putting. It reminds me that these meals promote a culture of extreme overeating. 3. It makes me think I am overpaying. While the cost of buying and preparing the food is probably not the biggest cost of the meal. I know that if the restaurant served ordinary portions it could serve the meals at a lower cost so. I am being required to buy two or more meals. Maybe at a cost of plus 50%. When I only wanted one. Nobody would stand for going into a supermarket. Asking for a loaf of bread. And being required to buy three. And told not to complain. You can just freeze the extra two. Sometimes you only want one loaf. And you prefer to buy additional loaves fresh next week. Obviously what people outside a country think about that country's restaurant culture won't change. Anything. And any country is free to promote gluttony if it can do so ethically without causing food. Shortages anywhere are causing poor health outcomes in people who didn't choose those. In full knowledge and with full consent. But since you wondered what objections there could possibly be. I hope this was useful. American here. I think it's gross. I worked in a restaurant when I was young. And the trash bags of discarded food were so heavy I needed help to get them into the dumpster. Go behind any cheap, mediocre food restaurant and check out the trash bins. Yuck. This American doesn't like them. There is a diner that opened up near me. I've been there twice and that's it. Their portions are massive. I ordered a burger and it ended up being this double cheeseburger with these extra large patties. The breakfast had enough home fries to be a meal on their own. Even when I go to most other diners I will only order a short stack of pancakes because a normal one is just ungodly. It's more than you need. So it's wasteful. This shouldn't happen in 2022. We all know waste is a problem. Not only the rubbish it creates. The waste of energy, resources and people's labor. It's disgusting. Usually big portions are made up of cheap, bad quality food, processed, not fresh, full of too much sugar, salt or the bad kind of fat. It's bad for everyone, the person eating, the healthcare system and the people depending on the person who's destroying their health. It's part of what encourages the, more is better, consumerism attitude that is polluting the world. And encouraging billionaires and widening wealth gaps. There's an obesity problem that stems in part from the, more is better, attitude. As a Russian in America I love big portions. Always take home and always happy to eat next day. Sometimes it is better the next day. Canadian here. I don't mind large portions. But ridiculously large portions. Like the biggest 7-Eleven Slurpee cup. Don't know the name. Is overkill. Personally because I find it off-putting to have a huge plate of piled high food in front of me. Aside from that often I'll be going out for drinks etc after the meal so I don't want to be. Carrying my leftovers with me. Also some meals aren't the type that will keep well for leftovers. Honestly. When I visited America I always found that it was the cheaper. Low quality places that did the huge portions. In those places I didn't want more bang for my buck. In fact I would rather have paid less and got half the portion. The food in these places. Generally weren't good enough to want to eat them the next day when they would have been of even lesser quality and taste than they were already. The really good food. The food that I would actually want to eat more of. Rarely came in large portions. Also as tourists we stayed in a bunch of different places. Including hotels. Hostels. And even campsites. Most of the time we didn't have a fridge. Never mind a microwave.
Exactly how are we supposed to store these leftovers? In general I'm actually a big fan of leftovers and if I'm ordering a takeaway I'll always order extra. But I'm glad our restaurants in the UK don't do huge portions because 1. I don't like eating too much. When you eat until you are overly full you just end up feeling physically uncomfortable and tired. But I also don't like to leave food on my plate because my parents' generation had a big thing about that and I always got in trouble for it. So if I had a huge portion I would feel compelled to try and finish it all. 2. I wouldn't want to ask for the leftover to take home because it comes across as stingy. It's not something that's really seen as acceptable here and people would look down on you for it. 3. I'm rarely going straight home. Here going out to eat is a social event. It's rare that we spend anything less than 2.53 hours in a restaurant. A lot of that time is actually spent after we have finished eating. When we sit around chatting and drinking, either coffee or alcohol, this is usually followed by a visit to the pub or an event like the theater. Which means that it would be several hours before I'm heading home. I really don't like the idea of eating food that had been sitting out unrefrigerated for that length of time. Also I really don't want the hassle of carrying it around with me. It's not worth it. 4. I find the only places here that do offer doggy bags. That's what we call it. R. Again. The lower quality. Cheaper places where the food really wouldn't taste great reheated can't answer for everyone, but when I, Aussie, lived there for a few years, it seems that often lower and mid-priced restaurants, fast food, diners, etc., seem to make large servings of middling quality ingredients. As you say, this doesn't worry me much if you have a bit of self-control not to eat endlessly, and you can share it or take some home to eat later. There's also a stereotype of the US being a bit low class in some ways. To be clear, this view is not held universally at all, and is more a running gag similar to British people having bad teeth. The big plates, low quality, overindulgence somehow goes with the idea of being brash and a bit happily ignorant. It's a trope and complete nonsense. And I think most people know that's the case. When I lived in EU the trope was more common there where the ideas of fewer things of higher quality is viewed positively. Australians just laugh at everyone equally knowing that we are the most ridiculous of all. That said, we do excellent coffee and good casual dining. We don't really go for chain cafes. But eating outside for brunch is a religion here. And cafes take both their coffee and morning food seriously. Expensive and good quality, generally. On the other hand, we have Vegemite, so. I'm French. It's kind of bad manner to ask for the restaurant to pack the food. Also most of the restaurant food doesn't taste good when reheated. It's better freshly cooked and I don't want to eat the same food twice in a short time. Personally, as an American, apologies if you're only looking for outside perspectives. I was raised with grandparents who lived in Europe during, after WW2. They experienced extreme poverty and often went without. I grew up always being told to never waste my food, finish my plate and would get in trouble if I didn't. As an adult, it has been hard to break that conditioning. So when I receive large portions I feel extreme guilt if I don't finish it all. Then we'll feel sick, bloated, and in pain after. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.